Hey, my little Cheches, how you doing? Today, I'm gonna teach you all about the HST, GST, PST, and HRT. Hey, now a quick definition break. Christy Clark, the Premier of British Columbia. British Columbia, a province in Canada that I happen to live in. Gordon Campbell, former Premier of British Columbia. HST, Harmonized Sales Tax. GST, Government Sales Tax. PST, Provincial Sales Tax. HRT, Hotel Room Tax. If you live in British Columbia and don't know about the Hotel Room Tax, don't feel dumb. I didn't know about it till I started researching for this video, okay? Explanation time. Before July 1st, 2010, British Columbia had three taxes. GST, PST, and the elusive HRT. The GST went to the federal government, the PST went to the provincial government, and I can only assume that the HRT also went to the provincial government. Gordon Campbell took the HRT and the GST and the PST and amalgamated it into the HST. People didn't like the HST, and many people made different petitions to get the GST and the PST and apparently the HRT back, although the HRT is often ignored. A mail-in referendum is currently going on, where you can mail in whether or not you want to vote yes to the HST. Christy Clark is pushing to make it so that people choose the HST. She's decided that in 2012 it will be decreased to 11%, and then 2014 it will be decreased to 10%. Now, what's the difference between having two taxes and one tax, you might be asking? Well. The HST is by government standards. The government taxes a lot more than the province. All clothes for people under the ages of 14, lawyer fees, restaurants, and such, were exempt from the PST. But with the HST, it's no longer exempt. This is profiting for the poor and not for the rich. So obviously it's a problem. I don't know how the mail-in referendum will turn out, but I will tell you when it does, and I'll tell you what those implications will be. 